hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are doing diys of candle holders i saw these on instagram and i just had to try to do it for myself i did tweak it a little bit so that it can work for me so i'm using products from the dollar tree i'm using these rings i got those from amazon the glasses are from the dollar tree the mirrors i got those mirrors from the dollar tree um the the one that i saw did not use mirrors it did not use glass cups i wanted a heavy base on the bottom that made sense more to me this rustoleum metallic gold spray paint i got that from home depot and my e6000 glue can't leave home without it <laughs> it gives you a stronger hold and i'm using that to um adhere the rings to the glass the second set of candle holders that i'm going to do i'm using these jars the largest jar i got it from at home it was 9.99 and the two smaller ones i got them from the dollar tree these mirrors i'm um, not mirrors these tapes i got the tapes from uh hobby lobby yeah um these i got those do the dowels from michael's <laughs> So I picked those up from Michael's and those are what I'm going to use on those jars. So you'll see what I'm about to do, how it's going to look. So stay tuned. First thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take the glasses and the rings out into the garage and i'm going to spray them so um and i'm also going to cut those rings i'm going to separate them from being a full circle so i'm going to take them into the garage i'm going to spray them and after they have been sprayed i will come back and start working on the other candle holders So now I've already sprayed the other ones and I am working on the other candle holders. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the gold foil tape and I am wrapping them around the dowels. So that's what I'm basically doing here. It's very tedious. Um, it took longer than I thought it would take. The tape was not sticking that well. Um, I don't know if because what I got was kind of old. I don't know. Um, but guys, I would say probably don't do this method because I did end up in the end, um, well, a couple days later, I ended up taking them off because, you know, some of them were lifting off and I actually sprayed them. So I sprayed them gold. So I was trying to find a one inch tape. I couldn't find one inch tape anywhere. So here you see I've already sprayed and they're dry. And now I am about to start figuring out how am I going to adhere these rings to the glass. So um, that did not work. And I realized that I needed, um, because the rings were so big, I needed to go ahead and add the mirrors. And then the mirrors would have had more surface for me to put the rings on. And that did the trick. So, you know, everything is trial and error, guys. Um, if it's not working one way for you, try it another way. So the reason why I did break the circle, because... Uh, my mirrors would not have sat sit flat um, if I didn't do that okay so here we are I've made two I did not use that bigger size and um, now I'm kind of styling it I'm trying to get you guys to see it um, and I looked it wasn't looking like you can see how beautiful the 
candles the holders were on top there so that's why i was getting other stuff to try to make it work so now i am moving on to the other candle holders so what i'm doing is i'm wrapping the gold tape around the top and i'm also going to wrap it around the bottom it was more difficult to do the bottom because of course these are from dollar tree so i did not have uh i don't want to say square bottom but the the bottom kind of was pivoting in and because of that of course when you go around with the tape the tape is not hitting a flat surface go all the way around so you end up with a little bubbles here and there so what i'm doing here is i am measuring the top um, because I wanted to, you know, see where to place the dowels. On this size, I actually put them one inch apart. So I marked it one inch apart so that um, uh, when I'm putting the dowels in, I have it, you know, already marked. I don't have to be guessing the one inch. Um, sometimes you have to take time and, and you know, do, do these type of details so that your product will come out good. For the largest... Um, candle holder that I did I marked those one inch and a half yeah it was one inch and a half I marked to do those so basically I'm just adding the dowels and that'll be it for this they came out so beautiful but that tape yeah the tape the tape I don't know the tape was not you know a couple days after I saw the tape lifting up so um, I spray painted them instead and put them back on so now this is the smaller one and I did change the size of the dowel for this one and um, that was because of scale I don't think that um, the dowels the bigger dowels that I use on the largest one would um, the scale of that would not work for the size of these vases so I did change the size I went down one size with the dowel so I did use two size dowels um, I kind of have gotten gotten the hung of how to put the tape on so I decided you know what I am going to put the tape on all of them since I just came up with a little technique <laughs> So in total, I made six of these candle holders. Um, my intentions was to use them on my dining room table, but as I was along with the rings, um, as I was here making them, I was thinking this is going to be too much on that table. And I don't like to see a lot of stuff. So here is the completed products. So that's them right there. That, that's them completed. Um, it looks really, really good. Um, it took me, I want to say over an hour to do them. And the most tedious part was wrapping that tape around each one of those dowels. Guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell and share my content. It was a pleasure doing these DIY candle holders for you and I hope you try them for yourself. Send me a pic if you do. Also, look out for my next video where I style my dining room table with the candle holders.